Hello everyone, imagine waking up in a city where everything works on technology, like uh, traffic flows effortlessly, energy consumption is reduced, and uh, everything is, made to, it is designed to make life more easier and convenient. Sounds like a fiction, right? But it is actually the future that we are building. It is a promise of smart cities. But here comes the biggest question, how it will happen though, how will we as engineers help in this development? But today I'll be taking you on a journey on how it is developing and how we are building the future of tomorrow. Ingen uh, generally, everyone has a very bad thought and unpleasant thought about engineering, that uh, engineering is of no use and these things, but to be honest, it, play, it is very important. It plays a very crucial role in, uh, in environment, uh, like it plays a very crucial role in uh, f development of future. Um, so going to the main topic here, um, it is engineering have been continuously, and uh, its technologies have been continuously growing in various sectors like healthcare, agriculture, space explorations, and development of smart cities. In healthcare field, many new innovations and advancements have made, which has helped in uh, enhancement in uh, prosthetics and robotic surgeries, and also a new, with the help of in, uh, in, uh, advancements in diagnostic tools and medical fields, uh, there is a total revolution, uh, revolution uh, happening in the medical field. Field. And because of that, there is so much growth in, uh, like, so many successful patient outcomes, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, liver transplantations, uh, kidney transplantations, these things are happening very uh, you, successfully. And if we grow, move on to agriculture field, uh, many new uh, innovations are being made where sensors have been uh, installed near the crops for uh, com continuous observation of uh, plant growth and also devices have been created for storage and uh, which helps in the, Im helps for improving shell life. And uh, moving to the significant topic here, how engineering is uh, helping in the growth of uh, smart cities and helping in transforming tra uh, from traditional cities to smart cities. Smart cities is a concept where we enhance urban services and transform the city into a more convenient and a modernized city. Smart cities, um, ha uh, smart cities, we can compare smart cities with ecosystem because it balances everything like um, uh, en uh, energy management, um, space explorations, and living systems. Whereas traditional city is more like a controlled environment with less interactions and adapt adaptability. Moving on to the key considerations here, there are so many uh, new innovations being implemented. Few are in the stage of being implemented in urban uh, uh, in. Infrastructure and urban planning advancements are made in uh, effective, uh, in e efficient buildings because uh, the heating, cooling, and uh, uh, the heating, cooling of the building is based on the outer uh, uh, external conditions, and this improves uh, the uh, enhances comfort. It enhances comfort and reduces energy consumption. And if we move on to power grids, uh, in power grids, uh, with the help uh, when advancements are made in this power grids, it helps in energy uh, reducing in energy consumptions, like energy uh, reduction. Uh, Energy consumption is reduced here, and efficient uh, energy distribution takes place. And if we move on to uh, communication and connectivity, uh, uh, in like nowadays people are using 5G networks, but uh, which is actually faster and it is reliable. But we, we have they have also started working on 6G networks, which is uh, uh, expected to be more faster and reliable than 5G or 4Gs. And um, IoT networks are connecting data. Uh, IoT networks are connected with data sensors and systems from where we can collect data for various purposes, like uh, um, like for uh, public safety or traffic uh, tra uh, traffic control. In transport and mobility, uh, advanced ITS have been installed in uh, traffic signals for ensuring uh, for ensuring continuous traffic flow uh, based on the real-time data. Like if there's uh, any issue, uh, like if there's more traffic, we'll be able to find out. And uh, since uh, self-driving vehicles have been introduced, which actually reduces accidents. And because of that, traffic flow is also continuous. And if we move on to public safety, um, energy, uh, like disaster management, like um, where we have got so many apps where we can will be like we, we they can predict the disaster like if any uh, natural calamities are gonna come or if you have any impact uh, how it, how its impact will be will be able to predict it and also uh, waste uh, in waste management like in environmental sustainability uh, smart waste management have been introduced where sensors have been installed in the waste waste bins for for managing waste uh, waste stages and to re uh, improve uh, re recycling 
and also uh, carbon capture systems have been uh, have been introduced which actually captures the carbons and uh, reduced um, produced from the uh, industries and power plants and it helps uh, protects it from entering the atmosphere so this by this way it produ uh, it uh, reduces air pollution so these uh, there are more many innovations uh, that have been implemented but uh, i i couldn't say everything here but i would assure that um, by um, uh, upcoming generation we will be surely able to transform the traditional cities into smart cities uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity opportunity thank you